Hello, how are you doing, beautiful souls? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja, and I am here again with another UNISA video. If you're coming for the first time, please do press the subscribe button down below and press, press the notification bell so that you can be notified every time when I upload a new video. With this video, guys, I just want to give you 10 mostly asked questions with regards to UNISA examinations with their answers. So without wasting any more of your time, let me just go straight to the video. Okay, so the first thing that I would like to talk about is that there's someone who asked, which how do I know that my module need the Invigilator app? So it, is, it was a very beautiful question because not all modules are actually going to be using the Invigilator app during the examination. So it is important that before your examination date, you actually go and check if your module appears under the modules that are actually using the, the Invigilator app so that you will know what you need to prepare because we definitely know that the preparation of an examination with an invigilator app is not the same with the one which doesn't have the invigilator app in it so um, i'm just gonna leave the first link i have a lot of links down below on the description box down here so on the first link number one link is actually going to take you into showing you whether your module is actually under the invigilator or not you'll be able to see so let's go to the second question how to use the invigilator app i know that there are first year students who are using this for the first time who might not even be aware what to do what it is uh, maybe you're not a first time student but you, it's a first time having to go through the invigilator app situation now you need to know how to use it Fortunately for you guys also, I've already created a whole beautiful video for you that explains the ins and the outs of how from how to apply for the app, how to where to get it, how to download it, how to sign up, all those things and how what is it that is expected of you on the day of the examination in using the application. So I'm going to leave on the link number two is actually a video that I made that is actually going to guide you through then i suggest that you watch this video that video as soon as you finish with this one so let's go to number three is it possible to actually get hold of the examination paper before the exam so here's the thing this exam even though you're writing it online it is still using the rules that we are told about when we are using a venue based examination remember when you are writing your examination on the venue they give you the they give you the question papers 15 minutes before the beginning of the examination so it goes the same way with this as well you will be able to download your question paper uh, in 15 minutes time before the actual time for the in for the examination so during this time you're not supposed to answer anything you need to read through your paper and you guys know this by now like I said, it's exactly the same way. So this 15 minutes is basically for you to download the question paper and look through the question paper. Obviously, you're going to look into which questions are going to be easier for you. And it is always suggested that you start with the questions that you are more confident with. So that if anything happens or you run out of time, you will have something that is like solid, you know, that you've already written. Then to start by following the sequence only to find that your best questions are now not answered the best way you could have answered them simply because you ran out of time. So yeah, I, I would advise you to do that. So make sure that you start with the questions that you're comfortable with. But yes, you will be given 15 minutes before you write the examination to actually browse through the, the question paper. So one might ask, um, so now that I've finished an examination, what happens? You know, um, well, how do I upload and what is the time frame? in that situation so basically this is what they do once you finish your examination paper writing or answering it whether it's an M uh, mcq or it's a written examination you need to know that you're going to be given 60 minutes to upload your examination you don't have to panic and stress now that you see that maybe your two hours is over for writing an examination so let's say you are writing an, an examination which is having which you, where you are located two hours to complete the paper you will then have 60 minutes on top of the two hours that 60 minutes is not for you guys to try and sneak in some answers or to try and add something that you did not add during the two hours of writing because then you're going to be penalized and there are people who keep on coming with stories where they say they got a zero or all those kind of things so if you want to avoid all those problems just make sure that you don't do anything funny make sure that you write within the time frame you're given to write which is normally two hours 
um, and then you use the 60 minutes to make sure that you upload your your question your answers ne? you upload your answers so everything is perfect so the reason why they give you 60 minutes is because they want to make sure that in case because this technical technology stuff anything can happen at this at this day and age when it comes to technology right we know that anything can happen so this 60 minutes is enough for you to try and upload and if you are going through some situations where there are difficulties for you to upload or you're having problems you will be, you will be able to contact particular numbers of which i'm going to give you as i go on with this video and uh, you can contact people who can help you right there and then to make sure that your examination gets uploaded successfully because that is important this is the thing unisa only wants pdf a uh, format of an examination especially the one which is written it has to be uh, in a pdf editable format because obviously when they were when they are marking your work they need to be able to use you know editing on your examination when they are marking and adding all the marks and ticks and all of that so you need to make sure also that your pdf document does not have any protection a uh, password or protection blockages that might make it difficult for for the lecturer to open your document because they're not going to call you back and say hey give us your password because your pdf examination is not opening it's requesting your id number or something like that they're not going to be just going to dismiss that whole thing so make sure that you are using pdf and it is editable and there is no blockages or any protection passwords that are going to be causing problems for them to be able to open your document so okay so also while i was talking about the 60 minutes that they give you to actually upload anything can happen you know maybe you you upload a wrong file and then you realize that you uploaded the wrong file then you need to fix it and any like i said anything at this point in time can happen sometimes sometimes you there's this panic attack that just takes place when we are writing examinations or sometimes it's just this feeling of like exhaustion you just want to be done with the whole thing and then maybe you can accidentally upload something wrong or, or something like that so here's the thing you are actually told by unisa that you can actually get not that you can you will get three attempts to actually actually i'm so tired of saying actually like how many times am i gonna say this word like honestly <laughs> Okay, so you want to be given three attempts to submit your examination. Three. So once you pass three, there are chances that you're going to be blocked. So make sure that you don't exceed three attempts, your three attempts of submitting your assignment. So or your examination, you have only three attempts to upload or to resubmit your examination. So now let's say you are experiencing some difficulties you're trying to upload your invigilator app is acting up on you something is not right you're not sure what to do you're stuck your system is freezing glitches all those sort of things but you finished with your examination and you're now stranded you don't know what to do who to call who to talk to you know because now this 60 minutes also as much as it is enough for you to upload if you are having difficulties, it can be like it can feel like a very short space of time. So, what do you do in that situation? So, I'm gonna leave a number uh, on the screen and also down below on the description box. The number it's a WhatsApp number that you can use right away. Uh, that is linked with the person who is going to assist you with the invigilator app okay so that's the number you're just going to whatsapp and then you follow the prompts if it gives you gives you the prompts or if they they directly reply to you then you communicate back with them but then just to know that you are sorted out there will be a number there is a number that is allocated for you should you go through or experience these situations during uh, your examination right. i know that i can go on and on and talk about the invigilator app and the whatsapp numbers and you can find there's somebody who's going to be writing their online examination for the first time and they don't even know where to go they don't even know what to do in order to actually find a place where they're going to click so that they can be able to write the examination right so now this uh, is for those kind of people so now this is what you're going to do you're going to have to log into my unisa Put on your password put on, put on your username uh, and then you log in as soon as you log in then you're gonna go have to go to my exams uh, you will have to look at the bottom you will see my exams so you click on that 
and you will need to click on the date of your examination in which you want to find at the bottom right so that link box will actually show you all the examinations that are going to be written on that particular date that you've selected you want to browse through and look for your examination click on your examination or basically look for your module that you have an examination on and click on that module then it will then request you to put on your login details again so you'll have to put on again your login details your username and your password so from there on you'll be given or provided the the link that can proceed you to your examination you'll be able to begin with the examination i hope that what i just said is making sense and as i am talking maybe you are doing it so that you'll be able to see and guys it's important that if you are not sure about this do it a day before or before your examination day so that you know by the day you write your exam you know what to do okay okay so number nine you might ask yourself what if i am unable to actually attend on the day of writing an examination maybe